Many startups have jumped on the blockchain innovation to build a successful business over a short period. Aside the startups, the big tech companies are also adopting this technology or contributing towards something similar. Well, don't be surprised that most of these big tech companies are also moving fast into the light of blockchain technology, because believe it or not, this innovation will not leave any industry untouched. But despite the early open source culture of the blockchain technology, this big tech company are picking up patents for their innovation, while others are working on a similar technology to blockchain that they understand to be the third generation to public ledger. Are you surprised? Okay, how about I let you in on an open secret, IBM and Alibaba are said to hold the most patents on blockchain technology, with IBM owning about 100, while Alibaba owns about 200. Which is why you wouldn't blame Sato, in our last video for considering a patent for their technology and innovation. And as much as we like the open source idea, more companies might follow the same system. But that is not the topic for today. The project we will be discussing today has many of the big techs working with them, but before I jump right into it. If today we will be discussing Hedera Hashgraph. According to the company, Hedera is the only public distributed ledger that utilizes the fast, fair, and secure Hashgraph consensus mechanism. Hedera's governance is fully decentralized, consisting of up to 39 term limited and highly diversified leading organizations and enterprises. Now, let's break it down a bit. Hashgraph refers to a distributed consensus algorithm, and Hedera refers to the distributed ledger that will implement the Hashgraph technology. Overall, it is a distributed ledger platform that is similar to Ethereum, which can run dApps and support smart contracts. Therefore you can think of Hedera as an alternative to the Ethereum blockchain. How does it work? Hedera Hashgraph's most unique feature is its data structure for grouping transactions called a Hashgraph, which claims to process more transactions more cheaply than existing blockchains. The Hashgraph is a patented algorithm where all nodes are constantly communicating their information with each other and was originally designed for private use. The Hedera Hashgraph is the first iteration of the algorithm that is used in a public network. So what are the services available on the Hedra network? First is the cryptocurrency. With fast cryptocurrency transactions and low fee payments. With the help of cryptocurrency, transactions can be expressed in code without costly intermediaries. The Hedera Cryptocurrency API gives people the tools to manage their accounts and enable scalable, low-latency transactions that cost a fraction of a cent by using the native network coin, HBAR. Second is the smart contract. Smart contracts make it possible to build an entirely new class of applications. Whether people create a decentralized bidding marketplace or tokenizing a piece of land, the Hedera Smart Contract API enables people to arrange and run Solidity smart contracts on the Hedera public network. The third is the file service. It manages and verifies files. Hedera file service uses this system to anchor external data to the transparent public ledger. With features like transparent transactions, define ownership, revoke claims, controlled mutability, point off ledger, and files are globally distributed. While the fourth is the consensus service, build directly on Hashgraph. With the Hedera consensus service, people can develop applications like stock markets, audit logs, stable coins, or new network services that require high throughput and decentralized trust. This is made possible by having direct access to the native speed, security, and fair ordering guarantees of the Hashgraph consensus algorithm, with the full trust of the Hedera ledger. What makes Hedera different from other distributed ledger technologies? 1. Its creators claim that it works more efficiently than blockchains, making it more suitable for enterprises and commerce. 2. Specifically, the Hedera network can support up to 10,000 transactions per second, compared to 2.8 per second for Bitcoin and 15 for Ethereum, the two largest blockchains. 3. Actually, Hedera Hashgraph is based on a DAG, directed acyclic graph. This form of DLT does not rely on a proof-of-work or proof-of-stake consensus mechanism. Instead, Hedera network participants act as nodes that validate each other's transactions which leads to faster consensus. 4. Another important note here is that Hashgraph is not decentralized. Instead, it has a governing council with members including corporate heavyweights such as IBM and Boeing. Another important feature we dig a bit down on is the Hashgraph. 
The Hedera team describes the hash graph as a third-generation public ledger, just like they refer to Bitcoin as first-generation and Ethereum as second-generation. To break it down more, let's look at the differences between hash graph and the blockchain. We can possibly say that blockchain and hash graph are similar based on three main aspects, which are data storage, data structure, and protocols. But, blockchain processes storage of transaction records in a block, including current hash, timestamp, as well as the transaction from the preceding block. However, Hashgraph stores data in the form of an event, containing timestamps and transactions with the regular hashes. Therefore in an actual sense, Hashgraph is not a blockchain. There are so many things to put together here, we can just keep going, but let's put it all together. Firstly, Hedera Hashgraph uses the Hashgraph consensus mechanism, powered by two types of nodes. The consensus nodes determine transaction ordering and history, and mirror nodes, which relay this information to other stakeholders throughout the network. This differs from how most traditional blockchains achieve consensus. Secondly, Hedera Hashgraph is governed by a body known as the Hedera Governing Council, which is charged with running the consensus nodes that determine transaction ordering which consists of 39 members sitting on the council, including Google, IBM, and Boeing. The council's role is to manage the software, vote on changes, ensure funds are allocated correctly, and safeguard the network's legal status in various jurisdictions. An important note is that the space on the council is limited. Each member can have up to two consecutive three-year maximum terms. During this time, members have an equal vote on the network and platform decisions. While the Governing Council members run main net nodes today, the Hedera team intends to open that up to anyone who wishes to operate nodes in the future. The Hedera system is a bit out of the blockchain system, which doesn't sit right with the decentralized ideology. However, I will like to know what you think of the Hedera project in the comments section. Kindly like The Internet computer is a set of protocols that allow independent data centers worldwide to band together and offer a decentralized alternative to the current centralized Internet cloud providers. The ICP token is the native token of the platform. It is used for governance which means holders can vote on the future of the network and rewards network participants for good behavior. The token is as well used to pay fees for making transactions. To make it very simple, let me break this down for you. The Internet computer is simply an Internet server that is decentralized using the blockchain concept. Meaning, instead of hosting your website and applications on the server of Google or Amazon, you will be hosting your website on a decentralized network. This means no one can bring down your server. Let me give you more insight on this project using five essential things you should know about Internet computers. Firstly, know that the Internet computer is creating a decentralized Internet with independent data centers providing an alternative to corporate cloud services. ICP plans to have the protocol running on millions of computers worldwide. This means that your websites and apps will be running independently of any central server like we currently have. Right now, most data centers are owned by big tech companies like Amazon Web Services and the Google Cloud. This means that once these data centers have issues, the website or app can also be shut down until the server providing company sorts out its problem. Imagine Facebook shutting down for a day, or maybe Twitter. Of course, that will cause a lot of drama, right? With decentralized data centers, a problem like server downtime will be solved, because these websites and applications will run on millions of computers at once. The second important concept is it decreases monopoly. It is believed that centralized corporate web service providers have the ability to censor or de-platform applications. ICP allows everyone to have an open playfield to launch their applications. Another significant point is that ICP operates via open standard and avoids conflicts of interest when a major cloud computing provider hosts products that compete with its services. Can this actually bring the end to monopoly in tech? At least, we hope so. The third component you should know is the ICP token. The ICP token has several major uses. It acts as a governance token, allowing holders to lock some of their ICP into the network in exchange for having a say in the future development of the ICP protocol. ICP also rewards participating data centers for good behavior. The token is also used to pay transaction fees on the network. It currently has a market cap of 5.3 billion US dollars and is tradable on every top exchange, surely a token to watch out for. The fourth important component you should know is that the Internet computer has its programming language. 
The future of coding is to make things very simple for everyone, and the idea is to make it accessible. Therefore the internet computer has its coding language called Matoko, while operating using different canisters. I will not take you down the rabbit hole with these technical terms, however, this might actually be a sorted skill in the next five years. The fifth component you should know is that people are already building on ICP. As much as this might look new to you, this is not an idea anymore because people are already building apps and websites on the internet computer. Here are some of the websites and apps built on the internet computer. Number one is Fleek. Fleek brings decentralized web hosting to the internet computer. With thousands of web pages deployed. Fleek enables anyone to deploy their content on Web 3.0. Fleek already hosts more than 1,000 websites. The second app is Discover. Not spelled in the way it is pronounced. It is a decentralized version of Reddit, where users are the owners. Decentralized end-to-end, -end, built on the internet computer, and accessible from any browser. With more than 42,000 users. Third one is the Origin Foundation. They blend luxury goods with NFTs by providing digital verifications for physical objects. Only possible on the internet computer. And fourth on this list is OpenChat. OpenChat is a decentralized messaging app. With the advent of the internet computer, real-time messaging is now possible on a blockchain. They already have more than 80,000 users. There are many projects on ICP. I can only list a few. Let's wrap it up. The internet computer is a project from Definity and supported by Definity Foundation. So this means as a founder or a developer, you can get funded by the foundation if you build on the ICP. That's a great plus for many founders and developers as the community works towards massive growth. The popular topic of privacy is another problem that the internet computer might solve. By now, you should have the basic knowledge of what ICP means and of cause the essential things to know about it. If you like this video, kindly hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. This is very important for us. Also, please turn on the notification bell to get notified when next we post another exciting video. See you next time.